and clean the bookshelves out. Because, you know, look, we're trying to send the message. Yeah, I'm going to get rich and buy a beach house, right? I have a beach house. I have a new car. I have too many new cars. I give money away. Not to everybody. I give it to deserving kids who write great essays on what it means to be an American. I'm not doing it because I'm a greedy guy. I'm doing it because I'm an older guy. I'm doing it because I was a Boy Scout. And, you know, I remember the days of being an 11-year-old kid in the streets of Queens, walking around. I'll never forget it. Scout Master Aronson took all of us little boys and he said, we're going to give you the get out the vote cards. And I didn't quite understand it, but he said, one of the most patriotic things you could do in this country is vote. And he said, sadly, I'm talking in the 50s. He said, sadly, most people in America who have the right to do not vote. Well, as a kid, I thought that was terrible. I thought that if more people were motivated, they would go out and vote. So he gave us the stack of... Um, cards you're supposed to hang on a doorknob and he sent me out to canvas a portion of the neighborhood well being a kind of i don't know idealistic young boy i walked with those cards till my feet hurt it must have been 10 o'clock at night it was dark i paid no attention to the day or night i just kept putting them on doors and doors and doors and doors till my mother called the police thinking i'd been kidnapped and i think that ever since then i've been somewhat involved in one way or another with the loss of civic duty and civic responsibility in the United States of America. You may say, that's a broad statement, Savage. How do you prove it? I want you to look back upon my record as a writer. Look at the early books that I wrote. Plant a Tree. Uh, I think it was, yeah, Plant, plant a Tree, a, a, a Planter's Guide to Retreeing America. 1976, Macmillan published it. I poured my heart into that book. I envision regreening America. I went to every city and every state in this country. I studied which trees were right for which cities. And I, well, I poured my heart into that one. Great book. Why? I was sort of the Johnny Appleseed at that time. Books on, medic, on, uh, on herbal medicine. Books on homeopathy. Books on nutrition. What was I trying to do? I was trying to give society something positive. And here I am, my entire uh, um, impetus right now, it's not about nutrition. It's not about botany. It's about politics. I'm trying to re-green America. I'm trying to save America. In my own way, I'm still that little kid putting cards on doorknobs saying, get out the vote. I'll take a quick break and be right back on the Savage Nation. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. My Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com. It's the only company I trust to protect my wealth. Call 800-B-U-Y-C-O. Look, the hour is going to come to a close. You know that I'm in a good mood. It's uh, the birth of a nation for me with the publication of Government Zero. I worked f for a long time on this one. I always say I'm never going to do another one. I swore to the publisher after uh, stop the coming Civil War. I couldn't do it again. I was exhausted. Well, within a month, I started writing the next book. It started writing itself with what uh, Barack Obama and the sorority was doing to this country and not fighting the war against ISIS, conducting a war on the middle class, conducting a war on the police, conducting a war on the church. The book started to write itself right on this show. And before long, I was writing Government Zero, was writing itself. And here we are a year later. The book is out. It took a long time. It was out yesterday. The Drudge Report linked the, the big story on it. And uh, that was a huge day for me. It kicked sales way up through the roof uh, to the to the chagrin of those who, who hate me on the right. Uh, Matt published a link to the book. I'm sure that they didn't want him to do it. I'm sure that the Rush Cartel complained bitterly by email. You understand we're not all friends after the shows are over. I wish we were. I wish we had some Friars Club of conservatives that got together and had a drink together. But there's too much meanness in the air. And you got people on the right who just hate each other. It's a sad truth. So we all walk alone in a, in a certain way. I'm not a member of the Rush Cartel. Uh, his brother, David Limbaugh, does not represent me. He represents three people in radio, myself not included. That should tell you all you need to know. Nothing wrong with representing three talkers uh, as a lawyer agent. Uh, God bless all of them. They all deserve a short dance in the sun. We all deserve a dance in the sun. But you don't use that power to try and destroy a man who, frankly, has been doing a great job on the radio for 21 years. 
The shame on all of you in the Limbaugh cartel. Just shame on you. No one else is going to say it, but I'll say it. And one of them has 18,000 slum apartments in Atlanta, Georgia, collecting money from the federal government. How do you like that one? While he's Mr. Joe Sixpack in a Gulf Stream. How stupid can people be? All right, I said my piece. I got it out of my system. The high to the low. The humor to the anger. It's me. It's Michael. Michael unbridled. Michael unchecked. Here's a little headline from World Net Daily. Islamic invasion pulls trigger. Europe now scrambles for guns. Women in particular are scrambling for long guns in Austria because of the Muslim hordes that are sweeping into their towns and cities. What do you want me to mince words with you? They have severe gun control in Austria. They can't own handguns. So they're buying rifles and shotguns. And the predominant buyers are women who are afraid of these people who are pouring into their towns and cities. You think the people are stupid? It's the drug addicts and the... It's the leadership, if you want to call them that. The corrupt leadership that is selling the people down the drain. Islamic invasion pulls trigger. Europe now scrambles for guns. And let me tell you something. At the same time, Austrians are arming themselves at record rates in an effort to defend their households against feared attacks from Muslim invaders. Hillary Clinton had the nerve to give a speech yesterday saying that she's going to seize guns. This is how backwards progressives really are. Hillary is one of the worst demagogues you could ever imagine. If you want to Vita Peron in a combination deal with uh, a few other dictators of the skirt variety, you know which way to vote. Evita Perón would be the lightest uh, motif of what Hillary actually is. There are other models in the human history from the political world uh, that would come to mind. Hillary, I'm running for president to protect you all. Listen to this. Listen to this on Hillary Clinton attacking gun ownership in the Second Amendment in clip four. I'm running for president to protect our families and communities from the plague of gun violence. It is both heartbreaking and infuriating oh, that got we the picture. lose. An All right, there she is. Now she's on the anti-gun rant. She thinks that's going to get her votes amongst whom? Who is going to vote for her on the seizure of guns when most liberals who are rational own guns? I know liberals. I've met them in my life. There are a few that I talk to. I did talk to. Not anymore. They own guns. Why do they own guns? Well, they're afraid of the conservatives. And the conservatives are afraid of the liberals. So th th we all own guns. And that's a good thing. That's why we're on. We're allowed to own guns. And you know what's interesting about this gun thing? How come you all forgot that, that Supreme Court Justice, Supreme Court Justice Donna Kagan, is it Donna Kagan? I'm not trying to m mince, mince her name. Is it Kagan, Kragan? I don't know what her name is. Kag Elena Kagan, Elena Kagan. Uh, I know. <laughs> Elena Kagan was about as qualified to be a Supreme Court Justice not as possible. Nevertheless, they foisted her upon us because that's Barry's idea is to own the court as well. We're one vote away from a disaster. Anyway, Kagan, when she was going through her Girl Scout confirmation hearing, got up there and said, the Second Amendment is established law. The Second Amendment is established law. Do we have that soundbite, Robert? You gotta is hear there this any one. doubt uh, after the court's decision in Heller and McDonald that the Second Amendment to the Constitution Secure is a fundamental right for an individual to own a firearm, use it for self-defense in their home? There is no doubt, Senator Leahy, that is binding precedent, entitled to all the respect uh, of binding precedent in, in, in any case. So that is settled law. Settled law. Sorry, not established, but settled law. Settled law. Even Funny Face says it's settled law. Who's that actress from Honolulu? Uh, from sorry, from Hollywood, who who uh, we all used to joke about. Funny face. What's her name? Who knows what her name is? The singer with the hook. No, I don't remember. She was big in the sixties, seventies. A big friend of Michael Jackson. I don't remember her name. Not Elizabeth Taylor, but whatever. So if you were to play this woman, she's from that variety of humanity. She, even she says it's settled law, the Second Amendment. Do you remember that? Never forget what I just played for you. It's a seminal and important piece. I'm going to play it every day now for the rest of the month as I talk about government zero. Because the demagogue Hillary Clinton wants to take your guns away from you. It is set a law. And they're not a law unto themselves. God bless America that we still have freedom of the press 
freedom of speech. Thank you for flocking to buy Government Zero.